I'm gonna tell you five easy ways for how you can get better at YouTube. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. And real quick, any suggestions that you have for someone to try to make their YouTube channel better, leave them down in the comments below. Okay, we all wanna get better at YouTube, so I'm gonna share with you five easy ways that you can do it. Step number one is to systemize. Basically to systemize, what you do is you pick a day of the week and you say, okay, well this day is going to be my record day. And on on those days, you batch record your videos or at least as much of your content as you can, and then you go ahead and you store those on your hard drive. And then once you get them on your hard drive, you put them into folders based on the actual video title itself. And then when it comes time to edit that video, then you already have the videos in place and everything is organized and ready to roll. The same thing applies for your keyword research and topic planning. Basically what you wanna do is you want to sit down, you know, once a week, once a month, once every couple of weeks, whatever, basically schedule that day and you say, okay, today is the day that I'm going to sit down, I'm gonna write down all the time topics that I wanna talk about, and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start researching those topics as well. If you do all of these things and you learn to systematically batch every part of your process, what happens is one, you start creating a big archive of videos, and two, you make it easier on yourself, you have less headaches worrying about the content that you're gonna put up, and you actually develop a workflow. And having a workflow of some kind is extremely important. I mean, at least if you wanna get better at YouTube. Another thing that you can do is look at the channels that you watch. Look at what I'm doing right now in my videos, look at the things that I do on my channel and say, why do people like this? Figure out what it is that makes people wanna be involved with the channels that you watch. And by doing this, you're going to get some insight into things that work. And that's because you're gonna start seeing patterns all over the place. Like if you really start studying what's going on with your favorite channels, you're gonna start noticing a lot of patterns. And by a lot of patterns, I mean a lot of patterns. So in addition to consuming the content, study the people that you like and the people that you watch frequently and try to reverse engineer what they're doing. This next one is going to kind of go against another video that I made. Oh my God, Nick, what are you doing? Are you leading us down the wrong road? Why are you gonna tell us something different than what you told us before? But seriously, in a previous video, I'll put a card to it up here at the top of the screen. I spoke about writing scripts and the importance of writing scripts for your videos. But as my channel grew, as I've went through changes here on YouTube, as my channel has evolved, there's something that I learned. Scripts can really strip your personality away. I mean, basically when you're recording with a script, you're sitting there and you're trying to remember all the stuff it is that you just looked off of your notes. And when you're doing that, you're not focused on, you know, letting things come out of your head. You're not focused on being yourself. What you're doing is you're focused on basically making sure that you're presenting everything in the script that you wrote down because you said, hey, this is gonna be awesome. And it probably is awesome and you're probably awesome at reading scripts. But one thing that I would like to uh, challenge you with is, try to make a few videos just using bullet points. I know that might sound intimidating or hey, you might use bullet points already, but what I'm getting at is if you are someone who writes scripts and then you say, okay, well, I'm gonna say everything word for word, give it a shot. And the reason for that is, depending on the type of content that you're making, as long as you can pull this off, when you start giving that free thought, you start letting that free thought go, it really helps your personality come out on camera. And on YouTube and in real life, people connect with your personality. So if you wanna try something new that could possibly make a really big difference on helping you get better at YouTube, give it a shot. Another thing that's gonna help you get really good at YouTube is learning how to properly read your analytics. Basically, inside of your analytics, you wanna get real friendly with your audience retention report because that basically tells you if the content that you're making is matching up with the people who are watching your videos. Or better said, if the content that you're making is interesting enough or entertaining enough or whatever to actually pull people all the way through your content. Since watch time is what we're all judged by, it's extremely important that you learn how to get as much audience retention on your videos as you possibly can. In addition to the audience retention side, just learning how to use your stats in general, learning how to read your stats and understand what's going on and what everything means is extremely valuable and can make a night and day difference on your channel. Next on the list is practice. It's extremely important that you practice making videos as much as possible. It doesn't matter what type of content you make, if you practice making that type of content on a regular basis, you're going to get better at it. If it's presentation stuff, your presentation's gonna get better. If it's animations, your animations are gonna get better. If it's if it's podcast, podcasts or if it's songs or whatever it is, making makeup videos, whatever, you are going to get better at it the more that you do. If you don't believe me, check out every channel on YouTube, go and watch their very first video and watch what they're making now. Night and day difference on every single channel. As a bonus tip, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up into practice as well. But as a bonus tip, if you are out walking around, if you are you know driving around town or whatever, 
practice speaking to yourself. This sounds crazy, I know, but it works. When I cruise around where I am, I'm constantly talking out loud. Luckily, I have a helmet on, but you know, I'm constantly talking out loud and I'm basically working my way through different voice inflections and working my way through, you know, different things that I might say in a video and things like that in order to try to dial everything in as much as I possibly can because that kind of falls back on practice. The more you practice, the more you learn to use your voice, the more you learn to project your voice, which is very important if you're going to be on camera. And it also helps you vocalize your thoughts. As an example, just a few tips ago, I was talking about using bullet points. Well, the more that you talk to yourself when you're out and about doing your other stuff, the better off. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't do this in public. If you're walking around the mall, don't, you know, don't, hey, you know, what's going on? My name is, you know, don't do that. But if you're alone and you have time to where you can practice talking to yourself, practice talking out loud, projecting your voice and all that stuff, it's going to make a, a huge difference because, you know, basically you're learning to take that information from your brain and vocalize it instead of imagining what it's going to sound like in your brain. And then when you actually get on camera, then everything sounds a lot different than you thought it was going to sound in your brain. So that's extremely powerful and I highly recommend that you do that as much as possible. If you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.